Eric Hoffer, the Longshoreman Philosopher. This is a story that's been making the rounds on the internet lately, and I thought I would add a couple of my thoughts on the subject. It is an interesting story. The Longshoreman Philosopher, there were many, many, many men like him back in the 50s and 60s and 70s. They were hard-working men. They had their own ideas about life. And they were opinionated. That's what I miss, kind of. All these real men are gone today. We don't really have too many of these real men around anymore. But they were really opinionated back then, in the 50s and 60s, 70s. They were not as scared to say what was on their mind. The interesting thing about this blue-collar worker is he wrote some books. And he is supposedly the American longshoreman prophet who predicted Trump. Now, as many of you out there know, timing is everything. Timing is so, so important. The interesting part of this man's life is that he would have been around 30 years old when the Great Depression started. So he experienced the Great Depression when he was third in his 30s. He was not really a baby. He was not too old. He was not too young. So he really got to live some interesting times. And of course, the 1930s were really, really tough on America. There were many communists out there. People said, hey, this capitalistic thing is not working. There was really a battle against capitalism back then when nobody had a job people were starting to think hey maybe communism is looking good and that's why there was a, a battle with McCarthy back, later on in 1947 there was so many of these commies that had, had infiltrated Hollywood that were trying to infiltrate the government and these commies did not have loyalty to America the reason why I'm bringing this all up is because basically history is just repeating itself. Some people say that history rhymes. It's not going to be exactly like back then, but it's going to be very, very close. And of course, Donald Trump rode the coattails of nationalism. He rode it right into the Oval Office. He said everything that the Americans wanted to, wanted to hear, whether it was a lie or not, it had to be about it was about nationalism. And it was about loyalty to America because many Americans today feel that the people in government are not loyal to America. They're loyal to a foreign power. We know who that foreign power is. The young kids today, they're confused. They don't even know what fascism is. And they say, fascism is so 1930s. I guess that's what inspired me to do this video because... So many young people are confused that they, the fascism that they're thinking about, that they, that they connect with Donald Trump is not even correct. But we are in a fascist state already. And the children don't even realize it. America is now a corporate fascist state. It's already among, it's already here. And yet I see these children, they say they're scared that Donald Trump is going to bring fascism to America. And it makes, it, and, I, and I scratch my head because children, snowflakes, listen, fascism is already here. And that's, of course, what we're talking about today. If you really do dig into Donald Trump, oh, everybody that surrounds Donald Trump is part of a huge corporation. When the government wants to do anything, whether it be a biometrics on the border, the government always asks the corporation, how are we going to do this? And how does that connect to Eric Hoffer, the longshoreman philosopher? I mean, he knew that there was going to be a change. He knew that there was going to be a strong man come. And what I find interesting about his beliefs are that he could clearly see that whoever this guy was coming down the road, whether it be Trump or whoever, they were going to wrap themselves around the flag. God bless America. They were going to be holding a cross and they were going to use religion. 
But more importantly, there had to be a bad guy. There had to be a devil. And that devil, of course, was Hillary Clinton. So Donald Trump did play into that playbook. Hillary Clinton was the devil. So we had somebody, we had an enemy. And of course, he would say, God bless America, wrapping himself around the flag, make America great again. Yes. So it is true that the longshoreman philosopher predicted that there would be a man like Donald Trump come. Probably not that hard of a prediction. Whenever countries get into hard times, you have to have an enemy. And that's, uh, let's see what Hoffer says here. He says that mass movements can rise and spread without belief in God, but never without belief in a devil. That's probably the most interesting quote that he gave out that I can appreciate. So a mass movement, you have to have a devil. And of course, Donald Trump's devil was Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump does not win without Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton personified evil, corruption, and government. Turns out, Donald Trump is controlled by the same corporation. Has the same Goldman Sachs, Wall Street scum. And here we are. So, another reason why I wanted to make this video is because I found some old 1940s photographs of the port of Los Angeles in the 1940s. And they had 3,000 longshoremen back then that worked. There was, a, there was a job available to people back then. When, when Hoffer was around, all he, he said all you had to do was have a strong back and a willingness to work. And there was a job. Today, that's the different part of it. And of course, today would be sort of like in the 1930s. What Hoffer experienced in the 1930s, we're going through that today because there really is no good job for anybody. And uh, I just wanted to throw a few of my thoughts in here. The most important thing I wanted to say when it comes to the port of Los Angeles is you have to, to be able to get a job as a dock worker. You have to win a raffle. You have to win a lottery. Do the corporation, and the corporations probably have a lot to do with this. I mean, the corporations took all the jobs in factories and took them to China and India. So we have to lay blame with the corporations. Let me go over this chart real quickly. This chart tells you that when the unions peaked, of course, 1930 there would have been the Depression. But right after the Depression and after World War II, the unions peaked, 55 somewhere around 55, 60, and then it's been all downhill since then. Will the unions ever come back? Well, something like the union, something that has to protect the workers. Right now, the workers have no protection. So I'm just going to go, uh, we'll wind this video down talking about the port of Los Angeles, which is in San Pedro, California. Today, there are 8,000 8, longshoremen union members out there. L.A. has a population of 13 million. Like I said, back in the 1940s, the population of L.A. would have been 1.5 million, and they had 3,000 longshoremen working out there. Times are tough, no doubt. That's why Donald Trump got elected, because he was not a politician. People are sick and tired of the politicians. What is it leading us down the road to? Here's... So I want to document this because people in the future may not believe this. I don't think Eric Hoffer, the longshoreman philosopher, I don't think he would have ever saw this coming. If you want to be a dock worker in the port of Los Angeles, you have to win a raffle. It's a lottery. And here's the kicker. If you get lucky and win the raffle, it's only a part-time gig. This is, this is incredible. I, I just want to document it. I find this so amazing that if you want to be a dock worker in L.A., you have to win a raffle, and it's only for a part-time gig. I don't think the longshoreman philosopher could have ever predicted this, but who, what do I know? So I'm going to end this video with some pictures of the port of Los Angeles. This is how it looks today with about 8 million containers going through the port. 
We are much more efficient today. I will, that is true. We are much, much more efficient with uh, the machinery we have, computers. Have, they have 8 million containers going through the port. They called it a harbor back then. Here's, here's what the harbor looked like back then. There were no containers. There was much, much work to be done. There was lots of building. This, uh, like I say, this is in the mid-1940s. Possibly the longshoreman philosopher was working at this point in time. There were many, many blue-collar. There were Americans who just came off the farm, who just got back from the war, and all they had to do was be strong, have a strong back, a willingness to work. And there was a job available. It was a beautiful time in America after the war. After the war, the 1950s and 1960s, the unions were strong. There was a job available to you. Oh, I know the, I know the, African, the African American community did not have it all that well. I understand it wasn't good for everybody. This is an interesting picture. See the sailor sitting down. The airplane in the back, the sailor sitting down. So I just wanted to share these pictures of the port of Los Angeles, the mid-1940s, and it kind of inspired me to talk about Eric Hoffer, the longshoreman philosopher who predicted that Donald Trump was going to come wrapped around the flag. God bless America. Make America great again. Everything he's doing is for the corporations.